Yo, 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 what is going on, COD Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today I got another special treat for you. We're continuing our top 25 stats from Call of Dragons for the month of November. Today is going to be covering the top 25 alliances that have the most merit points in the game, right? AKA the alliances that go hard in the paint and kill your face. So we're going to be showing that off to you here momentarily. Let me get some of the fluff stuff out of the way, which is that remember we got new videos coming out every day, 9 a.m. Eastern slash 14 UTC if you want to go off in-game time. Of course, if you enjoy the content, be sure to sub, like, ring the notification bell, and if you want to join and be a part of our conversation, hit up the Discord. You can find a link to that in the pinned comment description right down below. <sighs> okay, casual mode activated. Here we go. So we'll go ahead and do the big unveil here, which should be Terry Suave. Okay, so here is your new top 25. Again, lots of increases here. We're going to do it as we usually do, starting bottom up. So, uh, and always remember, right, the date that you see here is the day that the data was collected. All of this was collected within, I want to say, about a four-hour window along with the other stats as well, uh, with the exception of one, which was uh, we had one thing on a different threshold, but that's either here or there for uh, a different data set. <laughs> okay, starting at the bottom. Number 25 is uh, DWD's, or I should say DWD, Mafia Pandas, here from Server 2. Um, they are a new addition. Welcome. We got uh, IDO Invasores del Olimpo, if I pronounce that correct in my native tongue. We have Server 4, they're new, welcome. We got number 23, IMBD, Immortal Behind It, from Server 1. They're actually down from number 12 right here and taking, what is that, a minus 11 or down graded 11 spots, plus 508k though on the merit points. And I'm going to make a note when we get a little bit higher because there's something to point out. So we have number 22 here, which is RI1. <coughs> this is Indonesia Raya or Raya. And then we have a Server 2. They're new. Welcome. We got number 21, RAX Valstrax from Server 4. They're new. Welcome. Then we can break into our top 20 for MJ45, Mad Japahit. Japit? Can't tell if French or something else, but we'll just go with that. Best for abilities, let me know in the comments. <laughs> and then we got from Server 3, down from number 15, placed here. We're looking at a minus five spots, uh, but still looking at a plus 2.4 mil gain for Alliance PvP points. Then we get to number 19, PHL, League of Light. Uh, they're down from number two, right? So we're having a negative or uh, 17 spot drop, and they're negative 27.7 mil. Now, my assumption here, and because we see it a little bit higher on the boards as well, is that if players leave the Alliance then the merit points that they have as an individual player will be taken away from the alliance overall. That, to me, only makes sense. However, if it works a different way than that, and anyone is confirmed, please let me know in the comments below. So then we'll move to number 18, which is 4G10 Forgotten. Uh, again, coming in almost at 7 mil. Uh, server 3, they're new. Welcome. We got number 17, Han Honorary at 9.8. Server 4, same position. Uh, but plus 8.6 here mil on the points gained, which is a lot, <laughs> especially if you're looking at 1.2 from before. Then we get to, uh, excuse me, then we end up getting to number 16, which is TS the Snow Wolves. Uh, again, breaking that 10 mil barrier here as well, or I should say firstly, server two, they're new, welcome. Then we get to number 15, finally into the top 15, we get Unit Empire of Kaltia, uh, almost at 11 mil for points. Server three, up from number 22, which you can see here, Again, breaking into 15, so we're looking at a plus 7 spot increase. That's plus 10.1 mil points gained, which is a good amount on the plus side. Highest we've seen so far. Then we get to number 14, SOL Solidarity, 11.5 mil for PvP points. So for 4, they're new. Welcome. Then we get to number 13, POS4, Pearl of the Orient, 11.6. Server 4, they're a new addition. Welcome. Then we get to number 12, is Garuda at 12.7. Server 1, they're down from number 3 right negative 2.5 mil points so again just assuming that just some players with pvp points have left and possibly just gotten elsewhere 
Uh, and I, I don't really necessarily think there's anything big on the minus. I'm not sure how much that really impacts, so to speak, at least from what I can surmise outside of just some players leaving and going elsewhere. Again, we can always kind of confirm if they end up being on the top 25 on the alliance spreadsheet. Then, you know, maybe that just indicates either people left and went to another alliance, maybe they left the server and migrated out. Uh, uh, of course, migrations aren't available at the moment. But just so you kind of get the idea. Uh, but for now, again, I'm assuming it's just, just a nice data piece so we can be accurate in our authenticity for what we're pulling. Okay, then we get to uh, number 12, Phoenix. Phoenix Rise, 4.5 mil. Uh, server 4, up from number 14. So just a couple spots here, not too much. Only 3, plus 13 mil. Biggest plus gain so far. Then we get to, into the top 10. Here we go. Number 10 is ROG Revolution of Garuda. And I want to point out that this could be the case, however, I, I don't, and I was thinking for a moment, because it said Garuda, this is GRD, GRD, so, and I thought, you know, maybe it's this, but they just updated their tag, but just because of the consistency, it's not. Plus, a different server. So, we got Revolution of Garuda, 18.5 mil, server 3, up from number 11, so they're seeing a plus 1 position increase, plus 16.5 mil, though, now the biggest plus gain for PvP points, they have been tearing it up. Then we get to number 9. Sky for Skyhammer, 19 mil points. Server 1, they're new. Welcome. Highest new placing as well. Then we get to number 8, which is 4 BD5, Forbidden 5, 19.3 mil points. Server 3, up from 21. So they're looking at a plus 13 position gain. And then also plus 18.3 mil on the PvP points, which is just wild when you look at how they started at 1 mil. Right, so again, lots of PvP being conducted. Then we get to number seven, which is GRZ Empire's Grim Reaper Z, breaking that 20 mil point threshold. Server two, up from number 25, which is a plus 18 position gain, wild. Also plus 19.3 mil PVP points, very respectable. Now we get to number six, PKO2, Presso KS2, server 20, excuse me, server two, 20.2 mil points. Up from number nine, that's a plus three position gain, plus 18.1 mil on the plus side for how many pvp points and faces they have torn up now we're finally getting to our top five we have the cat lovers sitting at the number five position 20.8 mil points server four up from number 24 so we're looking at a plus 19 position increase and plus 20 mil points gained just <laughs> bananas and now it starts getting really good right here we go for the top four lovers we got owo panda empire 60 million this is where we start getting the big spreads 60 million merit points for pvp from server two up from number five one position plus 55.3 mil right again started at 5.5 and now they're at 60 so much pvp happening and again, Server 2 is just a, a PvP fest. And then we get to top three, number three, four BDN, Forbidden. This is 75.9, pretty much 76 mil on the PvP points or the merit points. Server 3, up from number 8, that's a plus 5 position increase. And then plus 73 mil on the honor points gained. I mean, talk about just taking it anytime, wherever you want on the map ripping faces zeroing people just killing all the farmers who knows what else is happening selling crops selling pigs you know betsy the cows just the whole farmland and then we get to pretty much the decimation of earth itself which is ta's the avengers one 123.8 mil Server 2, up from number 6, 4 position climb, plus 118.3 million honor points gained. And then, of course, the number 1, still reigning champs here, is King's Alliance from Server 1 at 136.7.8 mil points. Again, same position, plus 67.9, almost 68 mil points on the climb. So, right, if you think about it, pretty much almost doubled here. And it is wild, right? So we're going to have to see how the alliances look kind of going into the end of season one before we get the reset going into season two. So I'll try and do one more tally on this uh, prior to that happening. But man, just wild stuff here, right? From just where it was a month ago to where it is now. Um, you could even see the bubble position here more than doubling, right? 827, now almost 2 mil. And then you can see the number one, as far as on the ceiling, all doubling uh, as well, right? So, man, again, I, I, what I will say here, and I've said this plenty of times, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to reiterate it often, I just absolutely love the PvP in Call of Dragons. The fact that you have 
<clears throat> proper ranged and you have flying, it, it just makes the open field so much more kind of true RTS, real-time strategy-like. And that, to me, immediately just makes me think of games like StarCraft, Command & Conquer, you know, Warcraft, etc. You know, these types of games where you're really having to kind of micro and macro your play out. Uh, macro in the sense of your coordination with your alliances. Micro in the sense of you moving multiple units, legions, marches, and then trying to do it in a coordinated way for yourself. It's just at such another strategic and tactical layer of depth to the genre from this specific game that I just love everything about it so far. So that is it for me. Again, let me know what you guys think about anything on here, the comparison, some of the new people, the point, plus minuses that we're seeing, anything and everything. Let me know in those comments down below. That is it for me as always. Until next time, I will catch you later.